Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be reviewing this 2021 Ford Mustang Mach-E. Now starting off, I really like this bright red color and these black accents, they go along really well. You can see that the charging port is in the front, which is a bit different. Uh, this is the Mach-E4X model. Uh, looking at the interior, you can see the gauge cluster and the infotainment screen. You can see that on the pillar of the driver's side door, there's a small button. And if you press that button with the key fob in close proximity to it, a latch pops open, or an e-latch as Ford calls it. You basically pull that e-latch and that's how you get into the vehicle. It's the same story with the um, rear doors, except there's no e-latch that pops open. You just press the button and the door pops open slightly. You stick your hand in between the gap and the door opens. This was done to give the Mackie a more aerodynamic shape. I also like this sloping roof. It gives this vehicle a nice sporty look. Moving along, I like these rims. Um, I think they look pretty good. And uh, you can see that the roof is black and the body is red. So it looks really cool. I like how the rear of this vehicle look, especially those taillights, they give a nice look, especially since the taillights aren't red, but they're white, and I think that gives it a nice distinct look. Coming around, you can see the button that's to open the rear door, and this one to open the front passenger door. This vehicle gets around 270 to 305 miles of range, which is pretty respectable. You can see that there's a front camera, which is pretty helpful. And I just love these headlights, they look pretty good. Also, you can see that this particular Mustang Mach-E has side mirrors which automatically close and this gives it a nice luxury touch. Uh, I like this black roof, however, it, it really looks good, this um, black and red paint job, it looks really cool. And here's another view of the interior. You can see that the dials are actually tacked onto the screen, which I, I think is kind of cool. Also, believe it or not, this vehicle does 0-60 to 60 in around 5 seconds, and higher models we get in under 5 seconds, which is pretty insane. Um, anyways, here are some pictures, uh, hope you enjoy.